What's going on, guys? If you guys are interested in learning how to day trade futures, I would definitely recommend going through a prop firm and getting funded up to $150,000. Why risk losing your own money? Learn the tools and the strategies instead, and then that way you can apply those tools and strategies and those skill sets to a funded account and get paid. I work with a fantastic prop firm. All the information is down in the description box below. But what we're gonna be looking at here is the NASDAQ 100. So phenomenal, phenomenal move ever since coming off that bottom of around 11,000. So you can see here, I've had some prior uh, kind of trend lines here that I was drawing. This was acting as a demand zone here. You see multiple times, every time we tagged it, we kind of bounced off of it. We tagged it, we bounced off of it. So what I'm gonna actually do is remove this line here. These two lines here was my upper supply zone as well as my uh, area for demand. But this range here, I wanted to kind of avoid. Every time we got price action in between this range and that price was around 12,000 to 12,175, it was extremely, extremely choppy. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom line because it now becomes invalid. We can see here going back to June the 27th as well as July the 8th, we had two uh, tops here where we kind of tag this area again a lot of price uh, a lot of choppiness price action here once we broke above it here on 526 we kind of exploded all the way up so what i'm now actually going to do is from the last time we exploded off this zone we came up and we tagged 12,951 and if you kind of see where we stopped today we stopped right in that zone folks technical analysis does not lie all you have to do is kind of follow that price action so what i'm going to actually do here is put our next supply zone which is going to be here and that's going all the way back to five four and that price is around 13,559. so great great move that we've had here um i would expect a little bit of a pullback next week if not maybe even some distribution what does that mean does that mean that we can't take out today's highs and push higher? Absolutely not. But when we do start to pull back, it's not the end of the world. OK, we do have uh, the Nasdaq trading over the nine as well as the 20 SMA here, the nine EMA, the 20 SMA. Things are looking higher. Uh, the, the moving averages are starting to get fanned out here. This is going to act as a, as a short term support here right around that 12.5 area. So I would definitely be looking at 12.5 for a potential area of pullback. Again, that's around three to four hundred points below. If we do pull back into this zone, we could have a little bit of support here around 12.7. So keep that in mind. The strongest thing that we can see for the stock market is a one to three day distribution. OK, distribution means consolidation it means stocks are trading sideways it means things are taking a little bit of a breather it does not mean that the bulls are are the bears are back in control and we're going to make new lows all it means is stocks are tired and they need to rest i would prefer a one to three day distribution going sideways if not pull back just a little bit right we obviously don't want to lose twelve thousand and start trading lower that's a whole different conversation for another video but a little bit of pullback would be nice here. Consolidation, one to three days. And in that break through the highs here of around 13,000, that's gonna be your new long position. We've got about a $300 to $400 price range that we're looking at here. Definitely gonna wanna take profits in this zone. We've got a lot of open space above today's highs. So definitely keep 13,000 on your watch list. I think anything over 13,000, 1310, I think is a definite long position. And you can kind of hold that position as long as we're trading over that 12,950. As long as we're staying over 12,950, you're gonna hold that position here. Again, guys, if you want more information, more strategies, you want the mindset, the psychology, you wanna trade with other traders who are doing this on a day in and day out basis, visit my website at evolutiontraders.com, become a lifetime gold member. You're gonna get access to everything, all my video courses and everything else that is involved with that. So just kind of with that being taken into consideration, I just want you guys to understand that if we do pull back next week, do not get scared. 12,536 is our short term support. We can pull all the way back into that zone. Again, if you're looking to play a smaller time frame, like the five minute, the one hour, the 15 minute, 30 minute time frame, find yourself a technical setup and take a, a short scalp. You can definitely do that. However, don't think that just because we pull back into the rising nine EMA that stocks are going to go lower, that the NASDAQ is going to go lower. That's very, very healthy. If we do pull into this rising nine EMA and we chop around sideways for one or two days, you can definitely take a long position once we bounce and take out the previous day's high off that nine EMA. I hope that helps. Guys, if you have any questions when it comes to day trading futures, please join the discord ask me questions just reach out to me my name is d anthony find me in there send me a dm talk in the general chat 
we got a lot of people in there ready to help you guys out. I'll see you guys all inside next week, and uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video.